All right, just as promised, here we are. It's time to go finish this game. I think we're gonna stick with the, I wanna try to beat it with our current party. Not easy, but I wanna try. Oh, you're terrible looking. Amazing. It houses all the DNA of every creature that has ever lived. Ayla, not give up. Oh, you got hands. You about to throw those hands? My dude? Alright, we're opening the doors of doom. I kinda wish you wouldn't. That was a lot of damage. Yeah, can I hit all of them at once? Okay, head didn't take shit. Alright, let's let's try something different. Robo, I feel like you still need to be healing. You're gonna just uh, Luminaire. first, I think. Got one of them. Arm revives main body. That's fine. We barely hurt the main body to begin with. Disables defensive status. Okay. There we go, now his arm's gone. Still can't hit him though. Obstacle? Yo, by the way, can we talk about how this dude absolutely- Oh, Robo actually has a status effect. That must be what that, uh, that removal was. Man, even though we have the armor, huh? <coughs> Did not expect that. No, oh, Shadow Slay. That hurt me mildly. Oh, Robo is actually, like, hurt. That was weird to see. Yeah, Triple King is fine here. Uh, I didn't really want to shock. I wanted to heal. I did it too fast. I wasn't thinking. Went to autopilot mode because I'm so used to him he having heal up there. Blame Bat Life. Triple kick in your ass. Hit the wall. Shadow Doom Blaze. Oh, it looks cool. Ow. 841 is a lot. Holy the piss. Heal again. 
Um, confuse. out of options. Unless I just mid you through her. Did we get it? Okay, we got him. Alright, that body's dead. Now we have to deal with the final boss. This was Lavos' goal, using the DNA of every organism and achieving the ultimate in evolution. Attack value is off the scale. It's shorting out my sensors. Me no run. Ela no run away. Worse than losing. Human hands created me, which means I am a product of that thing. I am no different than Luca and the others. I am a part of all living things. Ayla strong. Ayla and world good. You outsider. Not part of planet's life. Oh, we're about to go the fuck in. We're fucking fighting. Alright, so I think we want to kill the left bit first. Now, interesting thing about this fight. You think that Lavos is the dude in the center. It's not. It's the dude on the right. Oh, we're time warping. Don't do that. Alright, we got the left bit. The thing with the left bit is it does a lot of status effect stuff. And we just don't want to deal with that. Magic is not really going to work out well here, I don't think. All right, I don't think it can status effect us. Lava's core shuts off defense. Perfect. Dock and hit. Uzi punch? I'll just shock it. Just fuck it. Shock him. We're just going to Falcon hit. I think that's our plan. I think, I think Falcon hitting our way to the glory is probably the plan here. Evil Moon kind of sucks. All our HP down by half. Oof. So what we're going to do, we're going to Mega Elixir. Defense down. Keep that defense down. So we needed MP more than HP, but we needed both. Alright, so the bit's back. That's a problem. Dreamless ultimate magic attack. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, he got us good with that one. Robo took a shit ton of damage. Holy fuck. Alright, bit's down. Oh, we got the body, too. So we just need to take out the actual core now. Like, we're close. I think we Uzi Punch.
Come on, baby, we got this. Oh, he got his defensive power back up. Shit. Yeah. Alright, it's defended. Let's wait for a minute. Oh, it turned it off. Perfect. Get it, Robo! Give it the aura aura! Give it to him! This falcon hit! Ora, ora, ora! We're giving it to him! Oh my god, I can't believe how well this is going, honestly. Oh, oh no, he's bringing them all back. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, one Falcon hit should clear the field, though, of the left one. I'm gonna have to put him back on heal duty. In fact, he needs to just heal. If he gets hit bad, then it's trouble. Yeah, because he got hit with that one magic attack and almost died. Did two thirds of his health. Oh no, they're time warping. They're doing the time warp again. I don't care, we're area bombing. Shock. We're shocking the system. Let's go. We're finishing this up. And Robo gets the last hit. What the fuck? That's it. That's that's the game. We've beaten Chrono Trigger. With a team that, I tell you, my teenage and early 20s self would not have believed I would have taken. Oh, flashing lights. Flashing lights. My god. Yo, we got him. I mean, obviously, we were strong as shit by the end. We had some of the best equipment. We had leveled up significantly. I guess not a surprise. Kyo. Kyo. Cow. What? Fuck, dude. It's time to rise and shine. We have a little surprise for you. Boink. Your stay of execution has been cancelled. We must now carry out your sentence. Wait, what? Wait, wait, hold on, what? We've been looking for you, Kyo. Where did you take my daughter? Daddy, don't! Kyo hasn't done a thing. She says Kyo has been a perfect gentleman, but... What do you think, Chancellor? Kyo's deeds have had an enormous impact on the kingdom. Chancellor, how could you? Please, just listen to me. We had to... Save the future, right? Hmm? Huh? Oh, it's Doan! You saved the future and gave us hope. Uh, old, old Guardia. You fought Magus's troops and brought peace to the kingdom in year 600. Ungabunga. Ungabunga indeed. Yo, beat Reptites. I did beat Reptites. Reptites were beaten. But what's going on here? Haha! <laughs> You've been pranked, jackass! <laughs> Luca, you brought them here, didn't you? I absolutely did! Ashton Kutcher's behind the camera! <laughs> Our kinsman told me all about your incredible mission. Kinsman? You mean these are my ancestors? And descendants? Here I was fussing about my kingdom and my daughter, and you were saving past, present, and future. Why didn't you tell me? You could have just told me. Like, just say something. 
Now for a true victory parade. Tonight we celebrate you! Now, Marl, go out and enjoy the last night of the fair. I mean, I could technically extend the fair, but whatever. Kings and all. Are we jamming? What's going on? What's going on here? Come along with Kyo, our hero. Princess Nadia is finally home. At last, Guardia is back to normal. It's a moonlight parade! Yo, little exploding kids and balloons! And sexy dancers! What is going on? We're doing a little parade. There's Taban and his wife. She can walk, thank God. Random women and people. Hi, Mom. I'm sorry I went and saved the world. How you doing, Mare? Meh! Meh! Save the world! More little dancing kids. And there's Melchior. What's up, my dude? Oh, a little cat! I didn't even notice that at first. A little cat's having a little... have a little parade himself. Yeah, these freaking little kids love me, dude. They're popping up everywhere and just dancing and throwing hearts everywhere. Hell yeah. Man, that is Chrono Trigger. That is, uh... I, I know it took us a little while to get here. I had to take a break and do some other stuff, but... That is basically my favorite traditional Japanese RPG of all time. Oh, hello. Hey, 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 cut it out. Hey, Mom. You saved us all? That's nice, dear, but I wish you spent more time around the house. Mom. It's a real problem when a person in charge and a cat is gone. Oh, yeah, you like lemonade? Is, it, is that lemonade? Milk you Not much business and weapons anymore, but I like it that way. Yeah, can I go in here? No. What's up here? Oh, cool. It looks, oh, it's exploding. There's dancing women exploding everywhere. Gato, are you here? I can't go find Gato. I just wanted to go see Gato. I feel ripped. Ripped. Is a cute little ending. Hey, and everyone's here, even Magus, the big old piss pants. Well, everyone, this is it. Each to thine time. The gate has grown weak. We've got to say our goodbyes before the gate closes. You're all leaving? Kyo was strong. Marl, too. Ayla, have fun. You're my distant ancestor, so you better have tough kids or I'll be in trouble. <laughs> no worry. Ayla, very strong. Right. Hey, what do you mean by that? Kino dummy, we go now. Yo, whoop his ass. Ayla, you're the fucking best. I love you. Get out of here. Tis a feisty crowd, but they are thine kin, and tis of consequence. Queen Lena awaits. Your Majesty, we too shall take our leave. See you later, Frog. Mr. Frog. Long farewells ne'er were necessary. Right. Besides, actions speak louder than words. Ah, oh, she kissed a frog! Yeah, don't these things end with the princess kissing the frog? See you later, man. You're such a good character. <laughs> Magus, you... you're someone. So, you're going to search for Shala. See you later. I'm gonna miss Robo. Robo has turned into, like, my favorite character. Luca, I will miss you. What's wrong, Luca? Aren't you going to say goodbye to Robo? She knows. Knows what? Robo was born in a bleak future. When we defeated Lavos, we changed history. Robo may not exist in the future. Haha. Please relax. 
the new future has a place for me. Technically, wouldn't he exist in the future because he existed in 600 AD because we left him there and then picked him up in 1000 AD, so he should exist no matter what? Darn it, Robo, don't pretend you don't care when you're really sad. It just makes things worse. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you with my woman fists. Luca, you have taught me these emotions. Thank you. Tears don't become you, Luca. Robo will be there in the new future. You'll just never see him, because you'll die. Don't just yeet it out. It's like, whatever. I don't give a shit. Goodbye, great-great-great-great-grandmother. Good. Bye. Now! Caution. Oil has washed over my sight sensors. Sight diminished. Peace. I'm outie. Well... Do you remember that talk we had? You mean about whether our lives flash by before we die? Yeah, I get the feeling that the Entity is finally at rest. Yes, I feel that too. Time travel, how exhausting. We should dismantle the Epoch. Its job is finished. Or just keep it and go scooting around in time. Mom? You naughty thing, come back here. Look, Kyo, your cat's running away because you haven't been feeding it. Hey, come back here. Mom? Oh, no. No. Oh great! Kyo, that gate will never open again! Yes! <laughs> well, looks like we have no choice but to go after them. Go after them? But the gates... Luca, don't turn off your brain yet. I forgot! We have a time machine! Nyaha! That's the payoff for her voice the entire time, by the way. Oh, Princess, the King asks for your presence. Um, sure. Do, 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 do. I'm so happy. Now there's no reason for you to go away anymore. Um... I have a gift for you to commemorate this day, Princess Nadia. It's the Princess Nadia Stays at Home All Day gift. Hooray! This is Nadia's bell. It will ring out across the land. I don't know what it is about our family tradition about giving women bells, but whatever. Marl, where did you go? Could someone please give me a hand? Daddy, I hate to say this, but I can't sit around doing nothing. Gotta go. What's that noise? You're not using a time machine, are you? You certainly wouldn't be on a time machine. Phew! Made it just in time. Shall I fire one off? Uh, no, Taban. Actually, I could really use your help. Taban. Taban! Hey, little shitty fireworks. And now the credits. So yeah, as I said earlier, that was Chrono Trigger. Uh, this is one of my favorite traditional Japanese RPGs of all time. Uh, Akira Toriyama did incredible character designs for this. The music was fantastic. The story was fine to good for time travel. Uh, a lot of the characters, I think, were great. The combat system was wonderful. The graphics were good. Uh, it's just one of the best. Now, uh, we have this ending. There are more endings, depending on when you beat Lavos. However, we are not going to go do those right away. We're going to we're going to pivot off to something else, probably. If there is any demand for it, we may come back and do a New Game Plus run and just record every single ending, if we can. Um, but until then, I'm going to call this one complete. We have uh, we have beaten Chrono Trigger, and I'm quite happy for it. Now look at all these towns that we did not see as we were doing anything. They were so proud of that Mode 7 graphic. And, I mean, it, it, it was revolutionary in its own way, really, but... 
Man, it looks rough now. <laughs> it looks really rough now. Gotta admit. Holy shit. It's Robo and Atropos. It's the best. They're doing dinosaur things. Frog. Doing frog things with the queen and the king. We're visiting all our friends, man. This is how it should have been anyways. Vegas being a big old floaty bitch. Just a big old floaty bitch. It's flying around being a sad old bitch. <laughs> I don't know what to think about Magus, man. He's I mean, like, okay, anti anti-hero has his reasons, villain for part of the game, joins the party, but like I don't give a shit. <laughs> It's a piece of shit. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. He plays his part. So yeah, definitely, definitely was a lot of fun going in there with characters I haven't used before. Definitely a lot of fun going in here. You know, finishing one of my favorite RPGs and recording it. You know, not a whole lot of people may have watched this one, but I enjoyed it immensely. Anyone who does catch this in the future, I hope you enjoyed it too. Uh, what we're going to be moving on to after this, I know that we're still doing kind of our regular RimWorld stuff. I would really like to dig into another long-form RPG. I may move away from the Super Nintendo. I'm thinking maybe Suikoden would be nice. I want to do a little research and practice on Suikoden, because I remember at the beginning of Suikoden 1 to be kind of, kind of hard once you get up to a point, and I want to make sure that we can get all 108 of the characters. But I think that may be our next project. Translator Ted Woolsey. So Ted Woolsey, I feel like he gets a bad rap sometimes. He doesn't get enough credit. That man took a game and a script, and he did this with a number of games, including uh, Final Fantasy VI, which got turned into Final Fantasy III for the Super Nintendo. He took scripts that he didn't necessarily know the full translation to, and he went in there and created some of the most memorable, whimsical translations for... RPGs out there. Now, were they were they one to one perfect? No, they were not. You know, stuff was lost in translation, stuff just didn't get translated correctly. But they have their own lovely charm to them, and I personally really enjoy them. There's something to be said for the original trans like the actual translations, but there's also something to be said about what he managed to do. And it was really good. And there's our world. Just as we saved it. The end. And that's the end for now for us, too. I hope you enjoyed Chrono Trigger, everybody. And I will see you next time.